Buenos dias, mis amigos y amigas. My name is Jim Graham, and I'm very honored and pleased to be here with you today. We have wonderful speakers and wonderful participants that we have with us today. But first, I want to thank God for every hand that has touched this project and made it possible for us to come here today to celebrate the renaming and dedication of 3145 Mount Pleasant Street as Oscar Romero Apartments. Before I forget, I forget things very easily. There's just a couple things I want to do. We want to also honor those who lived through this fire, who have survived the fire, and are coming back and have come back to their homes. If you were here the night of the fire, would you please stand up? Would you please stand up if you were here during the night of the fire? Stand up, stand up. Por favor, si pueden pararse todas las personas que estuvimos la noche del incendio. Por favor, gracias. There were two people, in addition to those who have already stood, that I want to recognize most particularly. Forgive me. But my particular staff member at the time was Ted Losa, who worked very, very hard on all of these issues. And it's a special honor for me to have here another have here with us today another person who was here the night of the fire, fighting the fire, and that is the head of Local 36, Mr. Ed Smith. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Jackie Reyes y soy la directora de Asuntos Latinos para la, nuestra alcaldesa Muriel Bowser, que está acá, por favor. Y le queremos dar gracias también a ella porque por si ella puso todo esto junto acá para darle una buena, pues, eh, una buena dedicación a quien va a ser nuestro ahora Santo Romero. Now, we, I didn't introduce everybody on the platform because they're all going to be speaking, but and they're going to be introduced in turn. You know that, Yasmin. But I just want to say a personal note. This is an extraordinary dedication on behalf of Monsignor Oscar Romero. And I'm very pleased that his brother is here with us today. He will be introduced too. But I have a personal experience with Monsignor Oscar Romero. I visited the place where he was murdered in March 1980. And I saw with my own eyes, it's a small chapel at a Hospital La Divina Providencia. Es correcto? And I saw the moment, I saw, I could remember or recorrect the moment when I could look down the aisle when he was about to say mass and he was shot dead, murdered, like Thomas a Beckett. And he had just called for the rebels and for the army to lay down their guns so that they could have peace. This was in 1980 when there were 10 more years of civil war. So bringing this very important name, this very important association, this incredible man who has now been named a martyr to the faith by the Pope and soon will be a saint, as Jackie said, is very special for this neighborhood, for this ward, for this city, and for this entire country. So this is an extraordinary event, and each and every one of us, me most definitely, are proud to be here. And Our next speaker is an absolutely remarkable person. She has found her time, and time has found her, so she can become, and she is, a great mayor of the District of Columbia. Please join with me in welcoming the mayor of the District of Columbia, the Honorable Muriel Bowser. Buenas noches, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, everybody. You've heard a lot of my Spanish just now. And so I couldn't be more delighted to be here with the esteemed dais guest um, and with all of you, with the people of Mount Pleasant, the people of Ward 1, and the great people of the District of Columbia. Congresswoman Norton, thank you for being with us. 
my friends on the Council of the District of Columbia, the Ward 1 Council Member Brianne Nadeau, give her a big round of applause. And the at-large members of the council who have joined us, Alyssa Silverman, give her a round of applause. And council member at-large, Anita Bonds, give her a round of applause. You just heard from my friend, um, the former council member, Jim Graham from Ward 1, and we want to give him appreciation. You'll hear from Yasmin Romero Latin, the, who is the president of the Tenant Association, and thank you, Yasmin. <laughs> Cardinal World, we are honored by your presence, uh, and we are very honored today that we will be dedicating a building, um, but more than that, the home of 200 Washingtonians who mean so much to us in the name of Monsignor Romero. Thank you, Cardinal, for being with us. And to Mar Senior's brother, what a delight indeed that you have joined us um, here to represent your family. And I also want to recognize uh, the ambassador of El Salvador for, and thank you for being here with us, Mr. Ambassador. I have to tell you, this ambassador uh, lives his job uh, in representing El Salvador here uh, in the United States of America, and we so appreciate um, everything that you do. Uh, you also, and we have uh, to thank not only for gathering us today, but so much for her service uh, to the people of the District, uh, District of Columbia and a true leader uh, in uh, the Latino community. And it was my great honor to appoint her the director of the Office of Latino Affairs, Ms. Jackie Reyes. Thank you, Jackie for all that you do. Now, I, I wasn't here that night, uh, but I was here the next day. I believe that Jim and Mayor Fenty gathered a group um, in pulling all of the district agencies together that day. Now, I had the privilege of for almost eight years representing the people of Ward 4. And I always said this to Jim, and I always felt it in my spirit that the people of the Ward 4 and people of Ward 1 were like cousins, uh, that we shared uh, so many family ties, we fa shared so many traditions, and when the people of Mount Pleasant were in great pain because of this fire, so were the people of Ward 4. Uh, you never know when tragedy strikes, do you? Um, and when tragedy strikes every single day, uh, the men and women of our fire department go towards the problem. They go towards saving people and saving life and property. And I, too, want to extend my thanks to the Fire and EMS Department of the District of Columbia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. While we had significant damage to property, we know it could have been so much worse. And any time that we have a tragedy in our city like this, what I've learned is that Washingtonians come together. And uh, Washingtonians came together that day. That tragic fire was in 2008 and in 2015. It's been too long, but we're here. We're here to say that people can come home. We're here to dedicate this wonderful building to a great man. Um, and we're here to continue to look at the challenges that we face in the District of Columbia to ensure that more and more Washingtonians can participate in the great progress of Washington, D.C. So I am very proud to stand here uh, a representative of 660,000 people um, who are standing with you today in celebration. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to our beautiful mayor, Alcaldesa Muriel Bowser, like I like to call her. And now I would like to call to the stage a woman who has worked in Capitol Hill and who has done a great job representing the D.C. community, our very own Congresswoman, Eleanor Holmes Norton, please. 
Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Bowser and council members uh, Nadeau and Silverman and Bonds, uh, council member Graham, who we must not forget on whose watch this work began, Archbishop Wuerl, uh, and Mr. Ambassador, uh, Mr. Romero, the brother of, uh, of, of Oscar Romero, and most of all, those of you who are going to own this building, the people who lived in this building, the people who were in this building when a fire, a five alarm fire took this building down, and when our brave firefighters nevertheless did all they could to save this, bil this building, all of, the, all of you who've come home during this season, now this season, remember yesterday was the first day of spring, it snowed. <laughs> Today is the first day of, of cherry blossom season and Easter is right around the corner and we're gonna see the resurrection of a real tenant-owned building right here in Mount Pleasant. <laughs> and we're going to see a building that is named for Oscar Romero. How, how appropriate to name this building uh, for the Monsignor who in El Salvador in the midst of that terrible war, stayed and administered to the poor. That war that sent so many uh, Salvadorians, not only to our country, but to our community, but who stayed there and who was martyred there, that we would remember him by naming this tenant-owned building for Oscar Romero could not be more appropriate. And my friends, I must say that this day gladdens my heart in another way uh, because the big cities of the United States, which used to be the destination of the poor and the home of the poor, increasingly don't have housing for the poor. And the Congress of the United States in which I serve has all but abandoned housing for the needy. And yet, today, we see that the District of Columbia and a host of partners have been determined to bring this housing back. It won't look like it did before. It will be pen and own wonderful looking housing for those who needed more, congratulations. Yes. Before we introduce our World One Council woman, we wanted to welcome her to the El Distrito Uno, like Jim Granville had said, Lilo Gonzalez, who is a native, I would like to call him native from Unpleasant. So we want to call, a, welcome you, Council Woman with a call called La Mampleza. Come on, Lilo. Y esta canción con mucho cariño. My mother used to live in that building. My mother used to live. She passed away two years ago. So that's my building. So thank you very much for letting people with low income to stay in the neighborhood. So this song, one song. Vivimos en La Mampleza, vivimos en La Lamón. Vamos de casa del pueblo, Pal sagrado corazón, vivimos en la manpleza, vivimos en la lamón, vamos de casa del pueblo, pal sagrado corazón. Don Quique ya se prepara, calienta ya su perol, para ser de los primeros en la mesa del Señor, para ser de los primeros en la mesa del Señor. Se olvidó de sus boicitos, se olvidó del español, ay Señor que no se olvide. De mi pueblo el Salvador, ay señor que no se olvide, de mi pueblo el Salvador. 
me ayudan. Vivimos en la Manpresa, vivimos en la Lamón. Vamos de casa del pueblo, para el sagrado corazón. Vivimos en la Manpresa, vivimos en la Lamón. Vamos de casa del pueblo, para el sagrado corazón. Qué bonito es el Potomac, para que te voy a engañar. Se parece al río Lempa, señor, me dan ganas de llorar. Se parece al río Lempa, señor, me dan ganas de llorar. Pero aquí es toda alegría, aunque sea yo ilegal. Para Dios somos iguales, aleluya, aleluya. Para Dios somos iguales, aleluya, aleluya. Vivimos en la Manpresa, vivimos en la Lamón. Vamos de casa del pueblo, para el sagrado corazón. Vivimos en la Manpresa, vivimos en la Parrot. Vamos de casa del pueblo, para el sagrado corazón. Muchas gracias. Another round of applause, please, for this wonderful song. Thank you very much. Muchísimas gracias. I just want to say that you've got to understand that this is a miracle today. It's a miracle that this building has come back as extremely low-income housing here in Mount Pleasant, a neighborhood where the prices have skyrocketed. No question about it. It's a miracle also that everybody survived the fire without serious injury. This was a five-alarm fire, as Mayor Bowser has pointed out. It was the most serious fire in 30 years in the District of Columbia. And I want to especially acknowledge the firefighters. Were there firefighters here? I know Ed Smith was here. Were there others who were here that night? Were you here that night? Because for a few moments, for a few minutes, it looked as though we were going to lose an entire crew of firefighters in the building. So this was the most serious, most serious fire and we really appreciate the miracle that brought everybody through this in one piece. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the most able successor I could imagine. The most able successor I, I can imagine. She is attacking her duties with talent and enthusiasm. Please join with me in welcoming the Ward 1 Council member, Brianne Nadeau. Thank you, Council Member Graham. I, um, I decided to make my remarks today in Spanish, for which I apologize. Um, gracias, Directora Reyes, por darme la oportunidad de unirme a ustedes hoy. Monsignor Romero, gracias, Alcalde. <laughs> Monsignor Rosco Romero es una persona que causa mucha inspiración en mí. Hace muchos años, cuando yo estudié en la Universidad de Boston College, viajé a El Salvador a una misión de solidaridad. En esta misión visité a la iglesia de Monseñor Romero en San Salvador y aprendí de su vida y trabajo. Él era muy comprometido con las personas más vulnerables. Monseñor, Rom Monseñor Romero fue asesinado el mismo año que yo nací, hace 35 años. Pero su espíritu vive hoy cuando nosotros continuamos su trabajo. Mi cita favorita de él en inglés es, We cannot do everything. And there is a sense of liberation in realizing that. This enables us to do something and to do it very well. It may be incomplete, but it is a beginning, a step along the way, and an opportunity for the Lord's grace to enter and to do the rest. We may never see the end results, but that is the difference between being the master builder and the worker. We are workers, not master builders, ministers, not messiahs. We are prophets of a future not our own. Hoy celebramos la dedicación en un nuevo inicio para la comunidad de Mount Pleasant. <laughs> Concejal Jim Graham, directora Jackie Reyes, Comisionada, Yasmin, Romero Latín y muchas otras personas trabajaron para que esto sucediera y para perseverar la vivienda accesible, como Monseñor, Monseñor Romero enseñó. Hay mucho trabajo que queda por hacer y creo que juntos 
nosotros los lograremos. Gracias. Gracias, eh, gracias, gracias, eh, concejal Brianna Dow. Creo que habla mejor español que yo. Pero ahora queremos también introducir a una de nuestras grandes amigas en el, en el, en el Concilio del Distrito de Colombia. And now we would like to introduce our very good friend in the DC Council, our at large councilwoman, Anita, Dong, Anita Bonds. Well, good afternoon. Hello, hola. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure to be here as you are celebrating Mount Pleasant. So I guess I can say, Viva Mount Pleasant. That good? Okay. <laughs> you know, I should be really um, wondering why I didn't at least learn a few lines to bring to you in your own language because. As you and I know, the District of Columbia is everyone, everyone of many different languages, and that's so important. But it's a very big pleasure for me to be here with you today to celebrate something so very important, the resurrection of housing for poor people. As the city grows, we discovered that more and more people in the District of Columbia are not able to make the demands that are placed on them. And so having an opportunity to bring this project, this housing back online is such a tremendous, um, exciting and rewarding opportunity for the citizens and for the government. To all of the dais guests, I wish you well and know that you have contributed to Monsignor's brother in particular. Thank you so very, very much for being here. Thank you. And to the Cardinal, we, rep we know that this property, this housing property represents an opportunity for the District of Columbia to say thank you to a martyr. Now, a martyr, as we know, is a role model. And I say, let's let this housing development be a role model to what the future of the District of Columbia will look like as we endeavor to house all of the people of the District of Columbia. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to join you, Mr. Ambassador. You have to keep up this work and make us uh, realize that what we do in the District of Columbia has meaning, far-reaching meaning. And to our mayor, who is just outstanding, who is determined to make a difference for all of the residents of the District of Columbia. And so I say to you, those who will be returning, Aren't you lucky that we are able to make this happen in the nation's capital? Thank you very much.